Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, there's always something new to learn in Excel. Welcome to today's quick dive into one of Excel's most powerful and versatile functions, VLOOKUP. This function can save you a ton of time and effort when dealing with large data sets. In just three minutes, you'll go from novice to pro, so let's get started and unlock the full potential of VLOOKUP. First things first, what exactly is VLOOKUP? Understanding the basics is crucial before diving into more complex applications. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It's a function that allows you to search for a value in the first column of a table and return a value in the same row from a specified column. Imagine it as your personal assistant for cross-referencing data. It's incredibly useful for tasks like matching employee IDs to names, product codes to descriptions, and much more. All right, let's get hands-on and see how this works in a real-world scenario. Suppose I have a table of employee IDs and their corresponding names. This is a common setup in many business environments. I want to find out the name of the employee with ID 102. This is where VLOOKUP comes into play. Here's the magic formula equal sign. VLOOKUP, LOOKUP underscore value, table underscore array, call underscore index underscore num, range LOOKUP. So in our case, the LOOKUP underscore value is the ID 102. This is the value you want to search for in the first column of your table. The table underscore array is the range of data we are looking up, say A1B10. This range includes both the column with the lookup value and the column with the return value. The call underscore index underscore num is 2, because the names are in the second column of our table. This tells Excel which column to return the value from, and for range underscore lookup, we use false for an exact match. This ensures that VLOOKUP returns only exact matches, which is crucial for accurate data retrieval. Put it all together, and you get equal sign VLOOKUP, 102, A1B10, 2, false. This formula will search for the ID 102 in the first column and return the corresponding name from the second column. Hit enter, and voila, the employee's name pops up. Simple, right? But wait, there's more to VLOOKUP than just this basic use. VLOOKUP can be used with larger datasets and can handle more complex tasks. It's a powerful tool for data analysis and management. Let's quickly cover a common pitfall. One of the most frequent issues users encounter is related to the structure of their data. VLOOKUP can only search for values in the first column of your table underscore array. If your lookup value isn't in the first column, VLOOKUP won't work as expected. If your data isn't organized this way, consider rearranging it or use index and match functions as an alternative. These functions offer more flexibility and can handle more complex lookups. One last tip before I let you go. Always remember that VLOOKUP is case insensitive. This can be both a blessing and a curse depending on your data. Whether it's Apple or Apple, VLOOKUP treats them equally. This means you don't have to worry about capitalization when using this function. However, if you need a case-sensitive lookup, you'll need to use a different approach, such as combining index and match with an exact function. And there you have it. You've just mastered the basics of lookup and are now ready to tackle more advanced data tasks. You're now ready to impress your colleagues with your newfound lookup skills. They'll be amazed at how quickly and efficiently you can handle data. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more awesome Excel tips. Happy Excelling! Keep practicing and exploring new functions to become an Excel wizard.